Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is a beautiful morning, and I'm so grateful that we have God in our lives, and, and we are so blessed to be able to wake up and, and, and say, thank you, Jesus, because you are with us. Thank you, Jesus, because you are leading us. Thank you, Jesus, because you are blessing us. Thank you, Jesus, because you are the core of our heart, our life, Lord. You are center, Father. Thank you, Jesus, because without you, we are nothing. Thank you, Jesus, because of you, I am here today. Thank you, Jesus, because you are leading the way. Thank you, Jesus, for all your blessings. Thank you, Jesus, for every trial and every tribulation because it's taking me into a different dimension. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Be grateful in your heart. And you start counting the blessings that you have this morning. I'm going to tell you the list is going to greater than the amount of no blessings and complaints that many times comes out of our lips. So we need to focus on what he's giving us and how blessed we are. How blessed we are. We are so blessed that we need to be telling him all day long, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Be thankful, be grateful. That opens a different door in our hearts when we do that. It takes us out of the limitations. It takes us out of the dissection. It takes us out of depression. It takes us out of the pit of hell. Have a grateful heart inside of you. Be grateful. Be grateful this morning and tell him. Just don't keep it to yourself. Just tell him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glorify him. Glorify his holy name. I bless you this morning and I seal, I seal this word with the blood of the Lamb. I seal this word with the full armor of God, the helmet of salvation, the shoes of peace, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith. <laughs> oh my goodness. The shield of faith, the breastplate of righteousness, the sword of the Spirit, and the bell of truth. And we need to walk. We need to walk. We need to walk in his truth. We need to walk in the truth of peace. We need to walk in shalom. And that shalom comes to us. Not because we're not going to have any trials. It comes to us because through the trial, we are walking in total peace. Because he's leading the way. And he's taking us. So I ask the Lord that he impact you this morning. That he feel you hit this morning with his shalom. It doesn't matter what's going on in your life. You want to walk in total peace because he is leading the way. And all things work together for those that love the Lord. All things, all things work together. It doesn't matter what we're going through. It doesn't matter the trial that we are facing. It will work together. Because he's going to blend it. He's going to put him inside a blender. He's going to mix it up. And when it comes out. I don't know how he does it, and it's not my, it's not my problem. That's what he does, and that's what we need to trust in him, because he do amazing things out of trials. He do amazing things out of ashes. He do amazing things out of tribulation. He do amazing things out of abuse. Oh my goodness, he take us from ashes into beauty. And he built us from nothing. And he make us warriors of his kingdom. And it's nothing that I will change. Nothing that I will change for what he had done in my life. He's beautiful. He's mighty and he's wonderful. And he loves us unconditionally. So give it all to him and surrender totally and completely to him. And you, if you are listening to the sound of my voice and you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, I invite you this morning to totally surrender your life. And have an encounter. Have an encounter with the living God that will change your life forever. Forever he will change your life. So pray with me, Lord Jesus, this morning. I surrender my life completely into your arms. I give it all to you, Lord. 
come live in my heart. I repent of every sin that I have committed, sins of omission and commission, sins that I have committed with my eye, with my tongue, with my body language, with my choices. Lord, I repent from the bottom of my life. I break every covenant with the world, with my flesh, with Satan, with my words, every every inner bowel, any word that has cursed my life, that has come out of my lips. Father, I break those bowels. I break those covenants in the name of Jesus. And I make a new covenant with Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. I know that you die in that cross for me and you came back to life on the third day. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father interceding for my life. And this morning, I surrender my life totally and completely to you. Help me, Lord, to walk in total obedience and total alignment into your kingdom. The day that I die, when I open up my eyes, I will be in your arms. In Jesus' name I pray. This is the greatest decision that you will ever, ever made in your life to follow Jesus. To follow Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. And we're going to go into the word. And the word today comes from Matthew. It's a very short word, but very, very touchy to the heart and very powerful. It comes from Matthew. It's a parable. And I love the way that he speaks in parables. Because it's... He's just touching my heart in a way that it's just like... I have no words. He said, the parable of the peril of great price. That is a great price when we come to him. We don't even realize how great he is, how, bon how much abundance we find in him, abundant of love, abundant of redemption, abundant of peace, abundant of deliverance, abundant of transformation, abundant of healings, abundant of prosperity, abundant of favor, abundance of grace. There is an abundance that runs from Him. Then when we find that abundance, it will be nothing, nothing that we will not give up for Him. We will give it all for Him, all for Him. Because when we have an encounter with Him, when we have an encounter with the abundance of His love and His kingdom, there will be nothing, nothing, nothing that we will not give up for Him. We will give up for Him all, all, all for Him. It will be like 911, run to the cross. We will give it up for Him, all for Him. And we will not regret it. Because there are so much treasures in Him. So much abundance in Him. That our life will be totally changed and transformed from ashes. Into His glory, into His power, into His love, into His peace. Then nothing will be able to touch us ever again. And I am inviting you to come into that abundance today and receive Him in your heart. The word says, it's a parable. It's in Matthew 13, 45 to 46. And it says like this from the New King James Version. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant. A merchant seeking beautiful pearls. Why is a merchant seeking beautiful pearls? Because he's planning to sell those pearls. To get money back. Right? He's going to make a profit out of those pearls. So, which a man found and hid. A man found and hid that treasure. That treasure of pearls. <laughs> when, he have, when he have found one pearl of great price. Listen to this. Went and saw all that he had. Instead of selling the pearl. That he was seeking to make profit out of it. He went and saw all that he had and bought it. And I don't know who I'm speaking to this morning. But I'm telling you this morning, and I dare you this morning, and I challenge you this morning 
sell everything that you have. Seek his kingdom. When you find that pearl, you're going to live in the abundance of the kingdom. And you will never run empty again. Many times we have a lot of possession. We have money. We have friends. We have a lot of things. But we are so empty inside. We are running with so much depression, with so much loneliness, with so much emptiness, with so much grief, with so much rejection. That even though we have so much immaterial things, we are really lonely, we are really empty. We have a depth inside of us that cannot fill with nothing. Nothing but that precious pearl that the merchant found. Because that pearl is him. It's like a pearl hidden. And when we find that treasure, it will be nothing. Nothing that we will not do for that treasure. Nothing that we will not live for that treasure. Nothing that we will not exchange for that treasure. Because it will change your life completely. It will change your family completely. It will change your heart completely. We will never be able to be the same because it's Him. He's a pearl. He's a treasure. There is greatness in that treasure. There is transformation in that treasure. There is a divine appointment in that treasure. That it will take us into the kingdom of hell, to the kingdom of glory, into grief, into rejection, into abandonment into depression, loneliness, drug addictions, whatever you're dealing with, with, into greatness, into healing, into a greater anointing, into an encounter with Him that will change your life forever. And we will never, ever be able to be the same. And I'm going to go into the Passion Translation. And this version says, Heaven's Kingdom. Rome is also like a euro, merchant in search of rare pearls. Into what? Search of what? Rare, rare pearls. When he discovered one very precious and exquisite pearl. Precious and exquisite. Why? Because it's completely different to anything that we have experienced before. And many times when we have inside of us, a whole bunch of the money, things, and assignments, and, and, and influence that we carry because of pain. Because pain attracts all these demonic entities. We don't want to see that pearl. We want nothing to do with that pearl. We push that pearl away. But I'm here to tell you today, if that is your case, you need to run. I dare you to run to that pearl, to find that precious and exquisite pearl and run to him and give it all to him. He immediately, listen to this, the merchant immediately gave up all that he had in exchange for it. Why? Because his life was transformed and there will be nothing that can transform our lives but that pearl, <laughs> which is his kingdom which is his love, that abundance of his love. And I dare you today, and I challenge you today to seek him. Seek the kingdom of God first. He will do the rest. He will do the rest for your life. He will bring healing. He will bring healing, unity in your family. He will bring everything that has been crooked. He will, will put it back together. I bless you this morning. I see all this word. And I don't know who I'm speaking, but I know that I'm speaking to a lot of people this morning. And I ask you to seek that pearl, that precious pearl, that it will melt your heart when you receive it. And it will be nothing that you will not do for him. <laughs> nothing that you will not do for him because he's precious. He's precious. He is precious. You will give it all for him. When you really have an encounter with him. And I pray, Father, I pray.
that at the sound of my voice, you will touch every single one of those listening to me and watching me, Lord, online. Anywhere in the earth, Lord. Anywhere in the nations, Lord. Father, I ask you that you touch them. That you give them a touch with your hand, with the hand, the precious hand that you have. That you touch their heart, that you touch their mind, that you overflow the greatness of your love. The greatness of your kingdom upon every single one of them. And that we will have an encounter with you that their will, life will be totally changed and transformed in Jesus' name. I bless you this morning and I glorify his holy name and him alone. Let the presence of the Lord fall upon your life this morning. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Be blessed.